The root canal procedure is a standard procedure used by dentists to preserve a tooth which has decayed or is infected. Although it might sound daunting, but it is an extremely easy and efficient method to protect the tooth's natural structure and avoid the necessity of extraction. What exactly is the root canal procedure help your teeth? In this short video, we'll walk you through the steps of root canal therapy and show how it will aid in maintaining a well-maintained smile. Step 1. Diagnosis The initial step of root canal therapy is to identify the problem in the tooth. The most common signs that suggest the need for a root canal are severe tooth pain, sensitivities to extreme cold and hot temperatures, as well as tenderness and swelling in the gums and discoloration of the tooth. The dentist will conduct an extensive examination and be able to take x-rays in order to assess the severity of the damage or infection. Step 2. Anesthesia After the diagnosis is established, the next step is to anesthetize the area surrounding the tooth using local anesthesia. This will ensure that you feel at ease and free of pain during the entire procedure. The dentist may also put an elastic dam on the tooth in order to ensure it is dry and clear of any saliva during the procedure. Step 3. Accessing the pulp When the tooth has become in a state of numbness and isolation, the dentist will make tiny holes in the crown of the tooth in order to reach the pulp chamber. The pulp is a soft tissue within the tooth, which contains blood vessels, nerves, as well as connective tissues. If the pulp becomes damaged or infected, the pulp must be removed to avoid further decay and infections. Step 4. Cleaning and Shaping the Root Canals After the pulp is removed, the dentist uses specific instruments to cleanse and form the canals. The procedure involves the removal of affected tissue, bacteria, and other debris out of the canals in order to make sure that infection has been completely removed. The canals are then made in preparation for filling. Step 5. Filling the canals Once the canals in the root are cleaned and formed in shape, they are then lined with a biocompatible substance known as gutta percha. The material is used to seal the root canals, preventing bacteria from entering again and creating an infection. The tooth then is filled with a temporary seal to safeguard it until a permanent replacement is placed. Step 6. Restoring the tooth The last step of the process of treating root canals is to repair the tooth by putting in a permanent filling, also known as a crown. The purpose of this is to reinforce the tooth and to restore its appearance and function. In certain situations, the use of a crown is suggested to offer extra support and protect the tooth. Root canal therapy can be a very effective method for saving a tooth which has decay or infection. If you follow these guidelines, the dentist will be able to eliminate the infection, protect the tooth's natural structure, and avoid the necessity to extract the tooth. If you're experiencing dental pain or any other signs which could indicate the necessity of root canal treatment, don't be afraid to call your dentist to get an assessment. The root canal procedure can aid in maintaining a well-maintained smile and also avoid expensive dental treatments in the near future.